Welcome to After the Bell on the first Friday in the month of December 2011. At this moment, I will be taking you through the weekly performances of equities at the Nigerian capital markets. The non-announcement of debt leniency grants through the CBN to stock brokers affected the state of equities in the week. And depressing transactions were experienced as investors displayed no interest in stocks. In all, the declines witnessed in the market has settled stocks below 20,000 psychological lines. And it's now time for us to take a look at the gains and tail-offs. The all share index in the week diminished by 0.79% to close at 19,963.37. Also, the market capitalization depreciated by 49.96 billion naira to close at 6.23 billion naira. Highest traded stocks by companies was led by Zenith Bank PLC, which made a total volume of 206.6 million units of stocks. Guarantee Trust Bank traded 145.27 million units, and in 2,246 trades, Trust Bank PLC records a value of 974 million naira. Assessing stocks' performances by sector in the week shows the financial services recording 1.05 billion units of traded stocks. The consumer goods services reveals a value of 2.46 billion naira, while the industrial sector made a 2.26% contribution to stocks traded and became valued at 5.66 million naira. Total traded stocks in the week was a volume of 1.2 billion. In the five trading sessions of the week, there was appreciation once in the all share index. The positive record of 0.01% on Wednesday closed the All Share Index at 20,003.36, and the highest negative record was witnessed on Tuesday when the index slumped by 0.51%. Still on the week under review, the insurance sector made the only remarkable record. By 1.25%, the sector closed at 146.97. However, in spite of its notable activities, the banking sector recorded the highest negative change by 2.31%. There were 23 gainers and 40 decliners in the week. Law Union and Rock has the highest change in price by 11.54%. Wema Bank PLC closed at 57 Kobo, while Nigerian Police Microfinance Bank closed at 94 Kobo. On the decliners chart, FCMB declined by 13.70%. RT Brisco lessened by 13.39% to close at 1 Naira 1 Kobo. Nemet PLC declined by 9.23%. For the corporate declarations, five quoted companies released their results this week. Aso Savings PLC made a negative turnover of 4.87 billion Naira in its quarter 2 results for the period ended September 30, 2011. While Lan Africa, in its quarter 3 results for the period ended September 30, 2011, released a positive profit after tax of 59.94 million naira. A text version of this market report remains available for you on our news and features page. But whatever the situation which is Fox, continue to give it the long term investment outlook. This has been After the Bell at this moment. Have a lovely weekend.